and welcome to the 56th uh, video log here on my channel on YouTube. In this video, I uh, plan to talk a bit of my, about my first two weeks in university. Um, I'll share my adventures with Google Plus and its upcoming device. And uh, last but not least, I will talk about a couple of things that I did at work. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy. It's a talking head video, only the first one for me. Let's get right into it. A couple of weeks ago, Google announced that they are going to shut down their social network, Google+. For the past three years about, Google+, Plus was my primary social network, at the most interactions uh, on that platform, and I also used it kind of as my own uh, blogging platform. Um, so when they announced the, uh, the closure, I felt kind of dismayed. Um, it was on the horizon. Uh, it's not that Google+, Plus ever was highly successful, uh, but it, it I think it filled a niche. Uh, somewhere between Facebook and Twitter, Google Plus had a uh, following of uh, like-minded individuals, mainly from the tech space, who found a good place to discuss and share. So now we need to look uh, for a new home. There are a couple that are competing about our attraction or our business. There's uh, the Federated Diaspora, there is a platform called MeWe, there's the uh, Friendverse, and then there is Minds. Um, so far, I have been looking at Pluspora, um, and actually I haven't looked much further yet because I immediately started to like it. Pluspora is one of the uh, Diaspora pods and has been set up especially for ex-Google Pluses. Um, and from what I can see, that actually looks like Google Plus in the early days. Let me show you around. Uh, that's the uh, standard uh, Google Plus interface. In three columns, uh, you had the uh, posts from the people you've subscribed to, uh, the communities that you joined, or the subjects. There was uh, also the ability to join specific subjects such as politics or uh, like here, like uh, .io, that you could specifically select and join. That would uh, make your stream um, with an auto refresh and uh, all the uh, individual posts had the ability to comment. Um, you could interact with the people and there's no messenger no separate messenger attached. All the communication was either uh, through posts um, or then off-site uh, in any of the available messages or hangouts or whatever. So that sadly is going away. Um, the place that I most likely will move to or have already moved uh, much, most of my stuff is Pluspora. Pluspora is one of the uh, diaspora pods. It's run by uh, Dee Cleverly uh, and her partner, and uh, they've specifically set this pod up uh, for Google Pluses. Um, so there are many of the people that I've met on Google Plus are already on Pluspora. So it's a good place to go. Um, again, it is about... Uh, individual posts. Uh, the selection process is a bit diff different than our Google Plus because it's mainly centers around uh, a lot of hashtags that you have to define and that define your interest. And also on uh, the people you connect with, uh, which I'm not going to, to show in the moment. Um, this display on the screen is uh, public. Um, there is also a uh, further public tag uh, which just shows what comes in uh, without any filtering by uh, your interest or your your hashtags or whatnot. This is basically the place where you discover new people, where you discover new subjects um, and then consider that in, in your stream. Um, it has many of the same people as on, on Google+. Plus. Uh, all the big names and news are there. There's The Guardian, The Standard, um, 
Tagesschau, CNN, they're all already there. So this makes the switch really easy. Um, I, I did use Google Plus also as my daily news aggregator. Um, and yeah, Plus Power can, can come close. But not alone. Uh, Plus Power is still, um, traffic is much lower than on Google Plus. Um, and I've also ever had a, a Twitter account, which uh, over the last year has become again more important. That's kind of going up and down in my, uh, in my life. The Twitter usage um, and uh, to use Twitter, um, I use Tweet TweetDeck, um, which is uh, used to be a separate program. is now owned by uh, Twitter. It's a uh, runs right in the browser that's probably the the one and only and best uh, Twitter interface uh, that you'll ever need um, again I have uh, a feed with a mix of, of news and and people and celebrities so I, I do believe that between Pleatech and plus Pora I'm quite good in uh, covering uh, what Google plus uh, was before um, in addition, because I also said earlier, I used Google Plus kind of as my personal blog. I decided uh, to create a personal blog. Um, so I've brought up a small WordPress instant uh, in the internet and uh, we'll discuss all the things that, uh, that affect me, all the things that happen, uh, not only in the YouTube blog, but also on the, on the web blog. My other social media accounts are on Instagram, uh, linked uh, down below. I'm pretty active, I think, on Instagram. I try to post at least once. Um, I also have a Facebook page. And uh, last but not least, uh, I do have a GitHub, where I post uh, small utility scripts and programs that I come across. Uh... Wait, there's more before I forget. First, uh, there is Discord. Uh, yes, I am active on Discord, uh, even though I'm not an active gamer. Um, I'm on Audrey Embers' channel. Uh, the link is in the description below. Uh, I also participate in Cody Warner's uh, No Sport Creator channel. And in addition, like I think probably every other tech person in the world, I'm active on Slack. Enough of social media. Um, let's go on. Uh, quick intermission, uh, as you've probably seen, at the beginning of the first uh, browser clip, I've changed the program with which I record. I used to use uh, Debut from NCH, but after seeing uh, the Open Broadcaster suite uh, and a live stream from Oscar, I decided to give it a go. It's much more versatile. Uh, I'm quite happy using it uh, ever since. So all of the whole session is uh, recorded on Open Broadcaster Studio OBS. But now, second topic, university. Uh, I'm in my past the second week. Um, so tomorrow starts uh, the third. Um, I've had four of uh, the five subjects already. Uh, so we had, uh, we had calculus, um, introduction to programming, introduction into management, and uh, business English. Uh, there's one more coming, which is introduction to computer science. Uh, that will start... I think tomorrow actually. So I'm quite happy. We also got the the exam dates, which uh, stretch between uh, mid December and uh, early February, every every other week. Uh, so that's quite nicely paced. Uh, but still, the one thing that I'm most worried about is I haven't set an exam for what thirty years. Anyway, long time. So, uh, other than that, uh, the uh, the people in uh, in the classes uh, are very very nice. Um, I did uh, bring my vlogging gear in the first day. Um, we saw that video earlier. Still need to discuss or, or not discuss. Uh, work out how much I can actually film during class. How much do people want to be in the blog? Um, but um, I guess. Uh, Bringing the, the gear to, to your class was was the first step. Now, over the next couple of weeks, I'll take the next steps. 
Well, we all have uh, like three years together. Uh, let's continue with the uh, work related stuff. Uh, last week saw a new version of Ranger. Uh, Ranger is a container management system. Um, I would say an enterprise class container management system uh, on the basis of Kubernetes. And uh, they have released a new version, 2.1.1. I updated uh, one of our demo instances uh, running on uh, the Google Cloud uh, Kubernetes engine. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're just made for each other. Of course, mentioning the product name is not advertisement. It's most definitely not paid advertisement. I said that it's part uh, of my work. Uh, the company I currently consult at is a Ranger partner. So all of these things, Google Cloud, Kubernetes, and Ranger are what I deal with uh, day to day. Last final topic. Uh, have you ever looked at like footage from Casey Neistat or Cody Warner or Peter McKinnon and kind of said, oh, I really want to zip through traffic like they do. I have and uh, really looked hard into the idea of um, okay, either a boosted board or, or the one VLA um, that uh, Cody uses and just uh, create spectacular footage weaving through Cologne traffic our game. Um, maybe that sounds silly and after a while it actually did sound silly to me, especially since uh, given the nature of public transportation in Cologne, there's no need to zip through traffic. Um, you can get wherever you want to uh, without without a problem on, uh, on tram. Um, and if you're off hours, uh, even with a car, it's not a problem. So I, my problem is not actually that I want to need to zip through traffic, especially not on an electric vehicle, although I would really love to, like I've probably said 20 times now. Um, so in the end, I decided, yeah, I still want to do the footage, but uh, I will go for a bicycle instead, because the uh, problem is not the traffic. The problem is that I don't exercise enough. So... Yeah, this, this week I ordered a bike from Amazon. That's it for today. I hope you did like the uh, short update. Uh, if you did, please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. Um, don't forget the notification button and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.